Chris, what a fantastic performance tonight against Linfield. We were so close to taking them into penalties. I'm sure you and Stephen asked for a reaction after Saturday and you got it tonight. Yes, we did. Um, it was a really good game, to be fair. Um, we, we told the boys what we wanted before the game. We wanted to try and frustrate them, let them have it at the back. Kind of make the pitch as narrow as possible, don't let them play through us. Um, and when the ball goes forward and the ball drops in our box, that we want the people to throw their, their bodies on the, on the end of things and, and get the blocks in. And, and to be fair, we did. So we're, we're happy with the performance. Um, obviously, to lose it later on is, is disappointing, but I, I don't think anybody can question the performance tonight. I think they were from Adam right through, to, right through the team, right through to Mick. I thought there was top performances all over. There were a couple of changes, but it just looked like a completely different team. I'm not sure what you and Stephen said to them. And we also took an early lead, which we haven't been doing. So that was fantastic for Hilly to get that early goal as well. Yeah, and it's, it's something that we've, we've really focused on. We've conceded a lot of early goals and it just puts you on the back foot straight away. So all the talk before the game was stay in the game as long as possible, try and slow the game down. We were under no illusions. We're playing Linfield, there, as I said on Saturday, they're one of the best teams in the country. So game plan tonight was more to try and frustrate them, but to get that early goal, Brian could cause teams so many problems with pace and behind. I think all of our front players today caused, caused Linfield problems all night and Brian to get in, he showed the composure as well. I think he stepped inside the man and put a great finish in the, into the corner. Uh, so it was a good start, gave us a good platform to, to build on. And yeah, so we were happy enough with the start. And Healy paid respect to Ballyclare. I mean, after the result on Saturday, you could have easily brought a reserve team, but he brought his strongest squad that he could play. They may not have started in the starting 11, but they certainly came on, which is testament to, to Ballyclare as well. Yeah, you see the, the team that they had. There's obviously a couple missing. I think they're a few away on international duty as well. And, but it's still, a, regardless of what team Linfield put, put out tonight, it was going to be strong. Um, but yeah, David showed us a lot of respect and, and fair play to him. And, I think their their boys are going off the pitch as well, and they're they're knowing they were in a, a decent game. All right, they did have a lot of possession, and, but we seemed to limit them to to, chan to few chances. It was mostly set plays that they were looking dangerous from in the first half, and um, we're just delighted that we've got a reaction from Saturday, and hopefully again on on Saturday coming in uh, coming in the institute that we get we continue with the performances. Absolutely, one one at half time. Thanks to a save from Adam. How well has that boy done since he's come into the team? Is he from Fitzpatrick? I mean, that's something that he'll always remember. Yeah, he's been he's been very very good. He's very very confident. Um, he is only young. He's only I think he's 19 in two weeks, not not one week that I said on Saturday. But he's he's really confident. Um, really good distribution with his feet, and he's pulled off probably 500 saves <laughs> in two games already. So yeah. <laughs> he's made a really good start. Um, it's a really good save from the penalty, like you said, and it's something that he can look back on now and see and, and always have that now that he's made the penalty save before half time. I'm sure our boys are exhausted. I mean, it was so hard to pick player of the match. Kellen Gilmore got directors play of the match, but as I said, it's really, really difficult. Mick Morgan had a super game as well, um, and it was his shot that led to Darius's goal. Yeah, I think you said it there, the performance was all over the pitch. It was everyone put a, a massive shift in. Um, Darius helping back at JJ at times at, at right back and we were near enough playing with two right backs and Brian on the other side with Rona and we were playing two left backs at times but no, everyone's worked hard really put the shift in and that's that's a lot more pleasing than, than obviously Saturday was. Um, Mick's done brilliantly all night through the middle by himself and it's a difficult role in football everyone knows you're, you're playing up front by yourself you have three centre halves back there and they're all physical but I thought Mick was quality at times um, there's times where he's Ball's played up to him, he's took, took two or three players on by himself, got shots away and Darius is obviously alive to the one that the keepers uh, made a save from and Darius does what Darius does best and he's there to, to tap it into the net. We mentioned JJ on Saturday, he came on, he was a really bright spark, he got his reward tonight in the starting 11 and what a super game he had. He's so strong physically as well for a young lad. Yeah, um, really strong, really quick over the ground and they're massive attributes for, for anybody. Um, he, he can go away tonight thinking he's, he's really pleased with, it, with his, his first start. We were really pleased with him as well. Um, and it wasn't a case of just putting him in just for whatever reason. He, he's deserved that. He, he's come on a couple of games and, and looked as if he's ready to play. So I said on Saturday, if, if people are ready to play, but we'll, we'll give them a chance. And Chris, we were so close. County Under Michelle, as we know, goes straight to the pens. I mean, they got their, their goal in extra time. Our boys were dead on their feet, but 
they never give up and they gave 100% all night and they were just so unlucky that the ref played <laughs> so many added minutes that they got their goal. Yeah, I think there was maybe five or six minutes added on and obviously there's stoppages in play and that's obviously the referee's decision, whatever minutes they play on. But um, disappointing that we were conceded later on, but it, I think the boys have just put so much into the game and it can, all it can take is one lapse of concentration and um, you've quality players from Limfield that, that are there to, to kind of take advantage of that. Chris McKee's been a brilliant striker in the league since he's came back uh, from Rangers and he's he's there in the box, he's alive all the time and um, he's just not a bun in. Um, maybe 30 seconds later the referee blows the whistle. If, if we defend the cross or, or clear it um, and we take them the penalties and then obviously it'll be a lottery then but like I said we're not going to be too di too disheartened. Um, we put a brilliant performance in, we put a, a really honest performance in, really hard working. Like you said everyone was dead in their feet half, uh, for maybe the last five or ten minutes and that's just because of the shift that they put in so yes it's disappointing to lose but we're pleased with the performances up until that stage. Yeah, Chris, you gave such an honest and frank interview on Saturday and I know everybody and the supporters really, really appreciated it. Um, I suppose now we look to Saturday and Saturday's the most important game, but the players have proved now that they can put in a performance like that. So you and Stephen know, everybody can see they have it in their locker and it's just a matter of being consistent now mm -hmm. and starting yeah. to pick up our points in the league, which is the main thing. Yeah. Um like there's a there's a big crowd here tonight. It's it's an easier one to get yourself motivated for, and you're playing in field. You have a chance to showcase your your talent to them as well, and your what ability you have. And um, like you said, it's just being consistent. We we wouldn't have signed the boys if we didn't think we were all they were all good players. So it's just about trying to find that consistency, trying to find probably the personnel who who's going to consistently give us the performances like they did tonight. So yeah, on the Saturday we we'll, we we'll work hard on on Thursday night. Um, we'll try and get a game plan put in place to, for, to go to the Institute on Saturday and put a similar sort of performance in. Um, and hopefully now, as you say, we can start picking points up in the league and, and start pushing up the table. Yeah, absolutely. We're all so proud of you, Chris and Stephen and the whole team. You really put on a super performance uh, for Ballyclare and, and everyone can see it tonight, which is fantastic. And maybe we'll see some more Ballyclare tops in the, <laughs> in the crowd. Yeah, there was a good no. crowd, which is good to see. And, Obviously, there was a couple of youth teams here, that um, done ball boy and mascot, yeah. and I think there was a game at half time. So, yeah, if we can get people in through the door, then that's always the way. And performances like that, and games like that, and entertaining games like that, go a long way in doing that. Absolutely, Chris. Well, well done tonight. Thank you. Right, thank you.